Hello everybody, this is Chef Harpal Singh Sokhi, your favorite chef on YouTube and I'm going to show you how to make lychee kheer. That's the way everybody pronounces in English. Lychee kheer. In India, we call it lychees. And lychees, when in season, amazing to eat. They're sweet, they're, they're beautiful, they're soft and they're, they're, they're amazing to eat. They've got a unique flavor which actually you cannot match. Now, I'm extending that flavor to make a kheer. A kheer is made from rice, milk, fresh lychees and I'm adding some essences of rose and saffron to it. It's just amazing to eat and I've got some rice which is soaked here. About five to six tablespoons of rice. You can use basmati or any kind of rice you've got. And I've got some ghee here, saturated fat, one tablespoon that goes in here. To this, I'm going to add assorted nuts, two tablespoons and Till the time the saturated fat ghee gets heated up and the nuts get a little brown. This rice, what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the water and I'm going to grind it very coarsely. Into my blender, a little bit of milk for grinding, that's about it. And Grind coarsely. That's about it. Just a quick churn in the blender so that you get the rice into smaller particles, not the larger particles. Now I'm going to add this straight away. Milk straight into this so that all the rice. Now I'll cook this until the rice actually gets soft. This should take about 15 to 20 minutes and I need to keep stirring constantly so that the rice does not settle down and gets burnt. So this should take about 15 to 20 minutes. Let it boil nicely. Now the quantity of milk I've taken here is about 3 full cups which should be about 750 ml, little less than a liter of milk. Yeah. So let this boil up and about 5 to 6 uh, spoons of rice. That's what the measure here is. And I've taken lychees, these are fresh lychees or lychees as you call and about 12 to 15 of them with the syrup in this. If you're taking fresh ones, peel them, remove the seed, take 15 of them and keep it aside. They're nice and juicy. Now you see where the rice is nicely cooked and the kheer is also a little thick. The thickness can be controlled. You can always add a little more milk. Uh, and to this now I'm adding sugar, four tablespoons here. If you want, you can add less too. Got some saffron, which I'll put now so that I get a good color. Green cardamom powder. A teaspoon of that, mix this up well. So as you add the sugar, it becomes thin again. And after adding sugar, you decide how much thickness is what you want. I'll cook for some more time. Now after adding sugar, you cook for another five minutes so that you get the right thickness. Finally, some rose essence. So what I'm adding, about one teaspoon and the lychees. There you go. Oh. That is what makes it beautiful and I'm adding whole pieces so that you actually get to eat a lot of it and as you add you can always crush them in the pan itself so that's what I'm doing so that they, you get smaller pieces because when you actually peel lychees and remove the seed you generally tend to take you know it breaks off and never remains a full complete thing one more boil and it's out as of now you might think that this is quite thin but as it cools down in a refrigerator, it is nice and thick is what it's going to become. One boil and it's out. Oof. Getting nice flavor of rose, cardamom powder, saffron and of course it's looking so beautiful in here. I take two of my cups for presentation and there you go. The kheer is ready and thick. Make it, I think the thickness is, if you want it more thick, you can always cook further. But this is the right thickness because 
द मोमेंट यू कूल इट इट बिकम्स वेरी थिक पीसेस ऑफ लाइची इन दिस ओह ब्यूटीफुल एंड टू डेकोरेट वॉट सब रोज पेटल्स a perfect dish for your entire family or whenever you want a gourmet meal finish with lychee kheer it's going to lift up your meal experience just for you lychee kheer